Welcome, my name is Lexi. Today I'm going to be introducing you to one of the best vegan soups. So let's begin. One of the first things you want to do is to prepare your dumplings. When kneading your dough, you want to use an aggressive tone to ensure a firm finish. Here I have a fresh bowl of water where I have added some lime juice to add the peeled potatoes, bananas, pumpkin and carrots to maintain their freshness while I prepare the food. It is a good idea to cut your potatoes, bananas, pumpkin, and carrots thicker so that they can maintain their wholeness by the time the soup is complete. When cutting your green bananas, you want to cut along a ridge, grabbing as much of the skin, peeling it off to ensure a clean peel. If a whole banana is too much, you want to cut the banana in half and follow the same process. When peeling your pumpkin, the first thing that would be best is to remove the pulp next the seeds then cut the pumpkin into smaller parts before peeling this is to ensure a safe peel because the pumpkin skin is a bit tough These are some ways that you can cut your corn to add to the soup.
In this soup, I use two kinds of mushrooms, wild chanterelle and oyster mushrooms. The oyster mushrooms may be more accessible and they worked perfectly in the soup. Here I have a pot of four quarts water where I put to boil, ready to add the peeled potatoes, pumpkins, bananas, and carrots. So this is one of the first steps you want to take to begin your pot. So apart from the celery, I like to cut my uh, seasonings up more on the fine side just because I find they have a better appearance in the soup. So here I'm using a big leaf thyme, but you can also use the fine leaf thyme. They both serve the same purpose and offer the same flavor. Here I'm using uh, pimento peppers. So if you can find them, you want to remove the seeds because they will make the dish spicy. So I added about eight to nine cloves of garlic. Here I'm removing the seeds from some red bell peppers. So usually I would use the large bell peppers, but I didn't have any, so I used about five to six small ones and removed the seeds, added them to a blender, added a bit of water, added about three teaspoons of smoked paprika and blend. This was added to the pot to give the soup color. Here I'm adding more flavor to the pot. I added about a tablespoon and a quarter of smoked paprika, a tablespoon and a quarter of garlic powder. I'm sorry, not a tablespoon, about a teaspoon and a quarter of garlic powder and two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. I honestly did not measure. I should have measured. I just used my judgment. For any uh, new recorded videos, I will be sure to make measure. You should feel free to add more or less with any of these ingredients, all to your liking. So when rolling your dumpling, you want to take as you want to take a small amount of dough just to ensure that you do not make large dumplings. And these are some ways that you can roll your dough. You can also take one of the rolled dumplings and cut it in half. I find that this also works well when making soup.
So I actually forgot to use uh, the roll to add the rosemary when I was uh, preparing the seasonings. So I just added it to the pot now. I added about two stems. And now I'm adding the plantains. So when choosing a plantain, you want to choose a plantain that is not overly ripe. So five minutes before the food is complete, you want to add your bok choy. And this is the final product. This soup was absolutely delicious. If you like this video, please be sure to like. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Please let me know if you tried this recipe, what worked, what didn't, and I will see you in my next video.